Hey you guys, it's Michelle here. Thanks for joining me today and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm decorating a patron spread for Shannon. So stick around and see what Shannon chose for her theme this month. my hello pumpkin spread and she wants a like a version of that it was my september monthly and with the little truck and everything so i wanted to make it different enough so it's not just like an exact recreation of this spread for her so let me show you what i printed and pulled so i made a little truck instead of the green truck i did like a russet color truck and this is on cricut access i did save all of these as a project and I'll put it in the description box. So I printed the quotes and everything. She said she wants florals with it, with the pumpkins. So I pulled out Live Love Posh Functionally Chic Orange Blooms. This is perfect for fall, these florals. So in these really pretty like rust and orange and like an apricot color. So I think I'm going to use those. And I also pulled out Pumpkin Vibes from Planny Thing. Unfortunately, this book is sold out, but pumpkin stickers I feel like are pretty easy to find. And the colors go perfect. So I made the Hello Pumpkin to go down the side. So this was mine again. And I made the fonts a little bit different and the colors different. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. made them a little larger too because Shannon uses the big happy planner okay we're going to just do pumpkin right down the middle here okay and let's get some florals over here so let's do a little bit of a cluster in the corner So I think I'll do a border across the bottom with florals and pumpkins kind of scattered about. I think this one's going to turn out even cuter than mine, Shannon. Okay, so I want, I think I want the, I think I want the truck right here. of a maroon russet color. I think that's so cute and I'm going to put pumpkins in it. So now let's get some of these pumpkins. Let's do this green one. This one's kind of large so I think I'm going to have it here and then maybe put a couple up here of smaller ones. Let's get it down just a bit. So it looks like it's sitting flat there and I'll have them just varying different angles. Okay, I love these neutral pumpkins too. Let's use some of them. Let's use kind of an oblong shaped one right here and a white one. Just like a smaller white one right there. And I'm going to need to put cover that up with something. So it'll either be pumpkins or florals or leaves or something. I'm going to go ahead and wipe that out, though. And Shannon likes her spreads very decorative, which is always fun for me. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to use all different ones in here. Here's one in that kind of the same color as the truck. I think I'll put that there to cover up the white out. And then let's get some, definitely get some florals in between this. This is going to be really pretty, I think. 
Okay, and then let's do this scrap from that first piece we used. Okay, looking good. And here's a green scrap. Let's do this one here, kind of falling onto the page. And that little scrap will be perfect over here. Now I'm just going to fill in the rest with flowers like here, here, and here. So let's do this rust color flower, just like that. And this one right here with this pumpkin scrap. I've got a little scrap here. Let's get this one a bit closer. Do this one here. Okay, and then one more little scrap and we'll be good to go. Let's use this right here. Oh, it looks cute already. Okay, so now let's get some pumpkins in the truck. Okay, so let's start out with sort of a mid-sized one like this. Just part of it though. And then I've got I've got this green scrap I'm going to put right there. we go. Then I've got another orange one. I've got that to sit on an angle. And then let's get one more different color one, maybe like a white or ivory color one. This little small one. I do want a couple on the ground also. They need to be kind of small. So let's do this orange scrap. This one. This one. Part of this green one will be good. All right, so we got that and I'll probably put a quote here. Let's go ahead and finish our border over here. Back to the Live Love Posh book. Okay, let's use this orange one that's already been cut.
Actually, we'll just use the other half of it, the smaller part, because there's not much room left. And I don't really want to carry it all the way across. Let's do this here. And that. Do this part of this floral. And then that little scrap of that green pumpkin there. We need another pumpkin over here. Let's do this yellowish color. and that orange one. And then we're going to need a few at the top. That one. Let's put this over here. Do this one. And then I think I want a few little leaves and vines and thing, things under the truck. We'll put that there and a little bit of this. Going that way. And the rest of that there. All right. There we go. Okay, I do wanna make a small border at the top, not anything crazy, just a little bit here and there. We'll do that. Do that one there, and then I just need a little bit here and here, and then we can move on to the function. This one here, a teeny bit here, and then let's do just an, another pumpkin over here, like a small orange one. Let's just do this scrap right here, be perfect.
Okay. Very cute. I think we need one more pumpkin right here. Let's do one of those kind of rose colored ones. Or I could do this longer one. All right, let's do that. All right, let me see what I have for boxes. Actually, let's go ahead and do, but first pumpkin spice right here. And then a little coffee cup right there. I'm going to put that right there. Okay, for boxes, I pulled out, I've got winter boxes. And let me get rainbow boxes, too. There's this dark maroon in there. Let's do this color because I only have this size and then the slender one left in this color. And I want a little bit on each page. So let's do this one. I think what I'm going to do is the darker green and then this light beigey sage green kind of color. So let's do coming off this right here. Well, not touching it, but I'm going to connect it with a green, like a dark green. This one. I think I'll put this larger one down here. I'm gonna do a little white out on this. Actually, instead of doing that there, I think I'm going to do it over here, kind of coming up from these pumpkins. white out there. I'm going to go have to go ahead and get a small pumpkin. Okay. There we go. And then over here, I'm gonna do a smaller, like this one, and one of the wine color, like the burgundy. Okay, beautiful. Now, I'm kind of rethinking the big box. I think I'm going to take that up and just use one of the another one of these.
Okay, and then I can do a couple of like a, the two greens coming off of that. Okay, and then we'll do a darker green right here. Thank goodness I have another one. Okay. I think maybe I'll have the green one connected to that one instead of the larger one. size is this but I'm going to turn it this way and then at the bottom we'll just do a couple of small ones right here and the let's do the burgundy and the dark green let's do the green in this size instead since this is a big planner it kind of almost looks funny if you have two that are slender in that giant box of course you can always write in the the other part too but I think I'm just going to use this for a little header and more layering fun. All right, so we got our boxes down. Now we need to do some more quotes. Let's do sweater weather up here. And autumn leaves down here. We'll do it's fall y'all up here. And then I feel like we need a little sweater. I have some in here, but I don't know. They're kind of small, but they'd still be cute. Let's do this one. That's cute. And since we're going with the sweater, maybe I'll do these little boots over here. need another sweater though. Let's go with that and I do want one more small quote down here. Let's do fall vibes only right here. Okay we're good on quotes. I want also some pumpkins in the boxes so that one might be too big. Okay, let's do this one just for like a little decoration in this box. And let's do this green one. Oh, it's cute. We need to get some lines in here. Okay, let's get a few up here. Okay, and some down here. And then let's do some here. And then a few right up here, and that'll be good. And then we'll do some bullet points and finishing touches. All right, Shannon, I smeared your ink a little bit, so I'm trying to think of a way to fix it. I know I can come up with something. In here, there are these labels that say um, notes, next week, appointment. I think I'll just do the notes one. It 
to cover up that white out. And then I'm going to do these two leaves falling. And a little pumpkin on top of that, and that should do it. Okay, that's cute. And maybe just a couple of more leaves to camouflage the rest. Since I used that, let's use one more somewhere else. And then let's do one up here too. It says today. Or to do. And I'm actually going to cover up that first line. one here and we'll do this hmm. right there and let's do this one like it's driving and you know the leaves are moving around Okay, so that looks super cute. I think all we need now is some bullet points. So let's go with, if I, if I have the maroon and the green, let's see, and Live Love Posh in the red book, I think there's the one in there is maybe close enough. This crimson color, is that gonna be close enough? I think it will, yeah, we'll do that. And then two of the green. I don't really, I do think that looks too red next to that. So let's do, let's just do all green. Okay, I'm going to add some black words now. Let's do something simple. Let's do these. We'll do don't forget right here. We'll do to do right over here. Do today there. And 
and important here, or remember here. I think I'm going to add just a couple of more leaves and then that's going to be all we need. Do that one there. Let's put one there and right up here. Okay, that is going to be Shannon's spread. Shannon, I hope you love it. It was so much fun kind of recreating this, but in a different way with different colors and different stickers. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while I decorated Shannon's spread. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'd also love it if you considered subscribing and turning on notifications. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.